Are you ready to from? This is, because I'm Franny, combination of humming, love intention, and breath work called frumming, because duh, we're going to do that. Now this, my beloveds, is the fastest on the go, and it's scientifically proven. So many scientists are coming up. Look who I have here, <laughs> this most beautiful Dr. St. Rose Michael. I asked in meditation for the easiest on-the-go modality that I could offer myself, Danny, of course, and clients and any beloveds. And what came through is I started to hum. I just started to hum. I'm like, why am I humming? Well, then I did some research. Great science. Great science research on changing the neurology. It goes back to... Uh, the throat singing of the Tibetans, it goes back to the chanting, you know, in the Vedic tradition. I mean, you know, self, self soothing with love. Self soothing, and that's the yeah, thing is. It changes the neurology. Massively. Massively mm -hmm. changes your neural pathways. It's the fastest way to, you know, make sure your cardiovascular system is calm. It's, it's anti parasitic, it's antimicrobial, it goes on, and uncle microbial too, just a little bit. But you know what I mean? It goes on and on and on. It is, but it here, also it yeah. helps uh, maintain or develop new um, brain cells. Yeah, well, look at us. And it's also great for your hair. Oh, wow. Something wow. you're going to love. This is going to wind you down, allow you to relax. You can use this anytime during the day or even before you go to bed. This will allow you to sleep like a baby. All I want you to do, real simple, is to hum. Hmm. <laughs> Could this be the easiest way to improve your health? Stay tuned and let's dive in. Like, that's the coolest thing. It is the best way to self-regulate your nervous system in a pinch. What do you do in a pickle in the moment you get that phone call or the text? That is when you want to self-regulate. You want to self-soothe at that moment. It's always just what Sandra did. Breath and let's hum. Mm because sometimes just going mm, is hard for people but if you open your mouth and you um it gets people into that oneness state very quickly into the frequency Literally. yeah and the joy is in the flow that uh, created <laughs> i am so excited that sandra's sharing this you're driving the car somebody cut you off breathing into your belly and um Enjoy the frequency, beloveds. Uh, you got you. You have that weird phone call coming in. Your in-laws or your biological family. I love them all, but they whatever. You're stuck at a dinner party, sitting next to some schmo. You can even do it very discreetly. Hmm. We're gonna from like nobody is from before for s for from sake. Fromming, fromming. Bella breath. This is short form. So if somebody. Get your goose-a-rama, all you do, so easy. Regulate your nervous system, because if you are not, and you're like, I'm triggered there, and then you get some, you track something else, because we're frequency, we are magnetic. You're, do not breathe into your upper lungs. That will activate your fight, flight, dentist drill, bear, right? We are actually integrating the parasympathetic and the sympathetic shoulders down. You're all angels pretending to be human. So angel wings back a little, not like, I'm just, little bit little bit of tension just to hold it to remember who you are okay this is reps if you don't get it the first time go gentle be kind to yourself most of all beloveds it's like reps at the gym you know sometimes you're reps in dance class so, you know you got to practice to have it in your body you want to make it a somatic memory okay so it is so fast but it takes reps just like going to the gym it takes practice and that's the thing it is really easy and if we get out of our own way and think how can humming franny i mean uh, you know lay off the bleach a little bit girlfriend <laughs> but it's, it's there's so much research and sandra knows i mean actually really good scientific research on that oh. and again a, a modality that now you can make healthier more intelligent more <laughs> formed uh you know, more loving choices for your own self, because if you love yourself, you're just not going to do the kaka poo poo back to yourself <laughs> again, because what is behind any and all dis-ease is, it will start from that blockage of the breath. The only way anything ever got stuck in the body, you know, it's the issues in the tissues, but the only the way issues anything... issues in the tissues. <laughs> the only way anything ever got stuck was from the stoppage of breath. <laughs> 
Don't yeah. want to be here. Don't want to deal with. Don't want to feel. God's put right. up. Something's wrong. Right. That tension, that repeated yeah. tensing, is what created the circuit jams. Yes. You know, where you damn the flow. So this is a good somatic berry. So breathe. You're gonna push out. Now I want you to just breathe in and push your put your hands on your belly if you can, unless you're driving or you know you're flying through space or something or you're <laughs> you know you're 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 guiding a, a, the Galactic Federation spaceship for reals. I believe it's happening. So much love to everyone, every being of love and light. So breathing in and out. So push your hands ever so gently on as if you have a belly gut. Don't hyperextend your back. You don't want to hurt it. So you might want to, if you're standing, you know, you might want to gently bounce on your knees, gently, just a little, so you're not ooh, stiff. You don't want to stiffen your knees. If you're lying in bed, this is perfect. So belly breath and exhale. That's how we're going to do this. Right now, we're just going to start with a short form from, which is breathing like that. And um, now, I'm still instructing. When you hum, make sure your lips are together. Because if some people hum like um, then or uh, yum, it, om is great because it gets the most, you know, it gets the most hum for your buck. <laughs> because if you go, mm, you don't have enough sort of uh, velocity behind it. But om, it's ancient thousands of years old. I did not make it up. And so many scientists, so many doctors are now sharing and validating it. The actual scientific exercises, Stockholm just had one where humming was measured and actually literally releases 15 to 24 times more nitrous oxide, NO, from your pineal gland than regular nose exhalation. What does that do? Stimulate, can humming create nitric oxide in the body? It absolutely can. What they discovered is that humming increases that NO production by 15 fold. Not 15%. 15 times. I don't believe this. When I come to Stockholm, I want you to demonstrate that in front of me. And they did. They, they have devices that measure nitric oxide production in your nasal cavity, all kinds of sophisticated instrumentation. Did it with no humming, they did it with a little bit of humming, they did it with lots of humming, and sure enough, the more you hummed, the more nitric oxide you produce, and it went up to 20 times. You define humming. Does it need to be in a certain tone for a certain duration? It, you know, closing your mouth, okay? I'm gonna do it sort of on the air. Mm. And so when you make that humming sound, you are exhaling through your nose. Right, but you're creating tremendous vibrations. It's the vibration that stimulates these special mucosal cells to make more nitric oxide. And the precise enzymatic mechanism, which I will not describe here, was worked out and they published it. Mm. And it happens not only in humans, but it also happens, where did it happen? In cows that moo. They were able to measure. The nitric He's oxide. humming together with breathing. And since my name's Franny, these are juicy stress tip quickies with Franny. We're going to from. I coined it fromming. Humming and breathing equals fromming. So here we go. All you do is you breathe in. They're mumming. Hum. <laughs> trap nerve, you know, it's called a intercostal uh, nerve issue. It was super painful last week and a thrumming helped. <laughs> the cow, um, the cow, the cow saying, I know thrumming helps. You're going to do one more. And if you wake up in the middle of the night, beloved, or you watch something on television or you're just freaked out, you're in the car, somebody cuts you, whatever. The fastest way to lower your heart rate and calm the breakdown down is from it. So all you do is deep breath from the belly and the heart through your nose. <laughs> I think that <they> enough. <laughs> It's not a coincidence. They feel the vibration. This Could this be the easiest way to improve your health? Stay tuned and let's dive in. 
seemed a little bit too good to be true, we almost ignored it until we started doing some research. And we found that not only is humming part of an ancient tradition that has led towards better health, but recent science is starting to show they were using a stress index and they looked at humming, sleep, exercise, and actually putting people under emotional stress to see what happened. Humming, out of all those, turned out to be the best tool to lower that stress index. A lot of this might owe its efficacy to nitric oxide. Again, together, nitric oxide can be generated through humming, and this is amazingly important. And yes, get the release of uh, oxytocin, which is the trust hormone, which is brilliant. We'll talk about this maybe later. And finally, you get increased heart rate variability. So the fabulous vagus nerve that a lot of people uh, have been really focusing their attention on. There are two ways of consciously, consciously changing the vagal tone. One is through deep breathing, and the other through humming. This humming, now this vagus nerve, has nothing to do with gambling. It has to do with our brain's connection with many of our organs in our body. And the vagus nerve is often referenced as the key to relaxation, because when that nerve is stimulated, our parasympathetic nervous system is stimulated. That is the opposite of fight or flight. That's our rest, relax, digest response. You know, when you're listening to your song, your music, you're, and you're saying, wow, I feel so good. You know why you feel good? Because you're stimulating the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is part of the parasympathetic nervous system. That vagus nerve allows your system to wind down. And by humming, that vocal stimulation, that vibration that stimulates on that vagus nerve is what calms you down. I want you to start humming. You're going to feel a huge difference. So when you're under stress, start humming. Enjoy your life because you will feel amazing. It's so, it's a vasodilator to the stars. It's a vasodilator, meaning that it opens up our bloodstream. And as it dilates the blood vessels, that decreases blood pressure. It's so good for your cardiovascular system. If you're on high blood pressure, low blood you pressure. You get lower blood pressure and heart rate. Now I gotta tell you, this unto itself is huge in terms of, uh, I do a whole lot myself because I, I've suffered from what is called white coat syndrome. So they take uh, my blood pressure and it's very high until I start mm, humming with, of course, deep breath. But it, it can move your uh, heart rate and, and um, blood pressure down when decade points. When I first was diagnosed with high blood pressure, I did the Fromian technique and I was able to bring my uh, blood pressure down by 15 points each time I went through the process in the morning. I would take it before and after and I was very impressed. I don't like medication and to find that there are natural techniques to help and heal my body, even if it's a, a daily thing, is a great blessing to me. Thank you. Like in the morning, before I check my I check my high blood pressure, I write down the number, then I start farming at least 10 times. Like this morning, I farmed 10 times. Then I check the pressure again. It went down 20 points. Yesterday, it went down 15 points. This morning, it went down 20 points. 20 points down just by farming 10 times, right? This is one thing. The second thing that it's working for me is the road rage. I don't have road rage since I start farming. I used to have road rage all the time when I go to the car, somebody cut me off, I get pissed off. Now I start farming as soon as it's happened and it takes my mind away from thinking about confronting somebody. I just calms me down. I send them love, I send them calmness. You know, and, and so thank you for farming, Franny. Franny, farming, thank you very much. It just opens everything great. Uh, Dr. Sandros Michael talked about how it was a so good for your neurology. I know that it regulates your neural pathways. It is uh, antiparasitic, anti-inflammatory. It's And if you don't need Viagra, look that one up. That's true, too. So 
Let's do it. All right, shoulders down. We're gonna do three short ones. If you're triggered today, if you're feeling tired, do this three times and I'm telling you, you're golden. Breathing in and om. You're driving the car, somebody cut you off. Breathing into your belly and om. Enjoy the frequency, beloveds. One more time. Om. So healthy for you. Let the whole entire exhalation happen. Don't just go um and stop. You're ripping yourself off. This is, I mean, they could bottle and sell this. You know, probably, think, thankfully, it's free. And the simplest things are the most powerful, often, beloveds. So now think of that. Increasing oxygenation and increasing blood flow. Add to that that nitric oxide is antimicrobial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory. And we hum out through our nose. Mm. I'm going to guess that you're not going to get sick as much. Because those antimicrobial, antiviral properties are going to be acting in your nose, in your throat, where many of our initial viruses come in and start to do their hey work. Hey, everybody. I wanted to tell you about a little secret. Humming. And it, it's working every time. I call it framming because Franny, beautiful Franny, taught me how to do it. So humming became framming. And I actually use it every day. I use it if I'm feeling upset, if I'm tense, if I'm, my mind is on overload, my body is, you know, very, very uh, tense. It, it, it just works. It just releases the tension. It releases the negativity. It, I mean, you know, this happens. Life happens. So every day things happen. And so instead of just like keeping it inside, I just let it go. It releases it with the framing. So I highly recommend it. It's just so easy, so fast. And you only need to do it like three or four times. It's like 20 seconds of it changes everything around. So go for it. If you have any questions, just go and see beautiful Franny. She'll be happy to teach you all about it. And she's just amazing. So good hey luck Franny, with it. Carmen Goldman here, um, owner of Special Family Wellness, the only EE center in the country dedicated to the special needs community. So my son who's on the spectrum taught me a very important lesson, and that is how humming helps you regulate yourself and helps you calm down. And it's something so easy to do. And then I started watching your videos where you from, Franny is humming. So I started incorporating that in my own life and my center, and I see the immediate, immediate um, difference it makes in uh, calming myself and my son calming himself. So I suggest everybody start. So it's just Danny calls it belly breathing because it's easier than all of the, you know, English, right? Because it was just a second language. Belly breath, right? Up the love, what I call the love trunk where all the chakras are. But keep it simple in the car or the elevator. You get that phone call. All you do, don't even think about your chakra schmakra. Just belly <laughs> breath and hum. Mm, um, three times I tell you. And if somebody, if you're with somebody and you're self-conscious, just tell them you have tum humming Tourette's or you can't get a, I, you know, love is in the mm, everywhere I look around, mm, whatever, have a song going. It is, you can hum songs, that's a good idea. It's a great one. I always have love in the air right there on my Everybody, little. My name is Tina Michelle Briggs. I live in Austin, Texas, and I am here today to talk to you guys about thrumming. Have you ever been in a situation where you're in a public place and the vibe feels a little wonky, a little bit low, and you're wanting to increase the vibration of yourself and others? What I love to do is personally, I get a song in my head that I really love to listen to that makes me feel happy, and then I'll just start thrumming. So whether you're in a public place, whether you're in your car, even if you wake up in the middle of the night and you have a bad dream, the vibration that you can give yourself from thrumming is going to help break you out of that, lift your spirits, help calm your nerves, 
put a smile on your face and others. And who knows, if someone overhears you thrumming your favorite song, maybe they'll join along. And hum. With a little bit of a smile on your face. They were humming too. Oh, they're humming. They're mooing and humming. This is Karen Hillagassi. And uh, even with all of my motivation, I started to experience some nausea in the morning, like the doldrums. I have started drumming. It's with Franny Sheridan. She's helped change my life and she got me to the place where I could do this video. And um, I'm feeling really uh, transformed, my friends. And Franny Sheridan, what she's taught me is something I want to spill the tea and share with you. But when I um, was ready to share my story about thrumming, and my third book was going to be about meditation, just to kind of give it away. But with uh, Franny Sheridan and this new thrumming, I think it's going to be a little different. And I think she's uh, uh, providential. She's in my life. Wayne Dyer said they're higher consciousness people. Incorporating other spiritual leaders like Franny Sheridan, we need to keep um, searching um, because even our tested tried and true methods of increasing our vibrational energy and increasing our happiness They may not always work One more time Om. So healthy for you let the whole entire exhalation happen don't just go um and stop you're ripping yourself off this is i mean they could bottle and sell this you know probably thank thankfully it's free